Okay, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo from Excel Moments. In this video, I want to talk about customizing the Q80, the quick access toolbar. Very easy to do, but I'm going to take it a little deeper. Just follow me and I'm sure you'll enjoy the ride. Okay, so we know the Q80 to be this toolbar by default to the top left of our Excel, you know, top left of our ribbon. And I say by default because you can change the location. And um, why is it useful? It makes it easy for you to reach some commands that otherwise would be difficult if you have to go through the ribbon. So, for example, if you want to freeze panes now, you need to go to, you know, view and freeze panes. Shortcut would be Alt W F F. That's a pretty long shortcut. Excuse the oxymoron. <laughs> you know, so you probably want to use something shorter. What do you see? When you press the Alt button, you realize that every icon in the quick access toolbar has, you know, a number that makes it easy for you to reach that command. So if I press 7, for example, that's like doing Open, Control O. So instead of having Alt W F F, I could just put it on the uh, quick access toolbar, and I can use a shortcut like Alt two and Alt three. So I typically advise that find yes commands that you use very frequently, have them in the quick access toolbar, but you don't want to also clutter the place. More importantly, commands that have a very long shortcut or are not that easy to reach, you can put it here for you know easy reach, or should I say for quick access so now let's talk about customizing which is like adding icons or removing icons or removing commands from the quick access toolbar so you click the drop down pin here and you can see that there are a couple of commands that have check boxes those are the ones that are visible the others are not okay so if you want to customize you just go to what more commands here right to see much more icons that you could maybe add so when you go to more commands, you see two panes, one to the left, one to the right. So what you have on the left is more or less like the bucket of commands that exist for you. And what you have on the right are those that you've added. So once you click any of them here and you click add, it moves it from the left to the right. And when you do OK, you have it. But now you know that our list here is filtered to show just popular commands. If you want to get a longer list, you do commands not in the ribbon, okay? So that's commands that cannot be accessed through the ribbon. Now, if you want to get a much longer list, you then do what all commands, okay? And you can see an extensive list of, you know, commands that you have in Excel. You can move them from left to right. And this is not the interesting part. Where it gets interesting is where somebody sees my customization and says, oh, Victor, I like your customization. Can I have it? So rather than the person adding these commands one after the other what you could do is you could just export your customization and he would import it and he's going to have everything you have so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to export my customization and say export i'm going to give it a name and just say here i will say for a friend okay so say for a friend right so he has that customization when he imports it he's going to have everything i have the challenge is this excel doesn't do a union of those commands meaning that if he has a certain command in his list and i have you know a different one it's not going to merge both to say include what he has and what i have no it's just going to overwrite his with the customization you're bringing in that's the way it works so sometimes it may be good you know to be able to edit the file itself so that you could add one or two commands that you actually want to include so what i want to do now is to open up you know the um the customization i exported and see how to do that okay so let's go to um documents i think that's where i have my customization yeah let's see okay so this is what i exported right for a friend so i'm going to open this with notepad plus plus okay that's my editor preferred editor for this because at least i can make it look like you know it makes sense so what i'm going to do first of all is just uh make it look a little readable okay so fine so you can see what it looks like let me try uh just put them side by side where are you come on okay so now you can make some sense out of it you can see some things that you're familiar with right you can see team colors you can see zoom to selection so you can see team colors the gallery and zoom to selection and you can see visible is true visible is true meaning that they would be visible 
okay? So you can see that you have a longer list here compared to what you see here. Why? Because some of them have visible is false. So you see that file new default is false, file open using backstage is false. So all those that are false, you wouldn't see them here. You're only going to see those that are true. So now what I want to do is I want to add two, you know, commands, but I'm not going to add them with the interface. I'm going to add them in the uh, notepad plus plus so let's look for two commands that maybe we would typically want to use you might want to use the camera tool let's look for the camera tool difficult sometimes to get to things here so camera so once you go to camera what you just do is just hover over just look for what you have in that bracket there what you ever you have in the bracket is what you need so we just need camera that's what they call like the qualified id for that command so I'm just going to copy this line. I'm going to copy this line. I'm going to create, uh, you know, another one. And instead of zoom to selection, I'm going to call it what camera. Okay. So I just call this what camera. Okay. So that's going to add one more icon for me. And let me look for another icon that I can add just so that we have two. Okay. I think I can add auto filter. So you can see the name in bracket there. It says auto filter classic. Okay. So I'm going to repeat what I just did here, Control V, and I'm going to do Auto Filter Classic here. So Auto Filter Classic. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, if I got that right, yeah. So now that you have this, you can then do Save. Okay, so once you save this, you should be able to import this back into your Excel. So I'm assuming now, that's my new customization, and I want to import that into Excel. It should come up with two more icons. So you can see my last icon here is Zoom to Selection. So let's see what happens when we import that. So I can come here and do Import, Import Customization File. I think I have it here for a friend. Let's see. So it says replace all existing. That's what happens, right? It's just going to replace everything. Okay, so and I do yes. Uh, let's do OK and see if we have two new icons here. Wish me luck. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So you can see I now have two icons here. And if you go back to more commands, you can see that you now have the camera and auto filter. So you can work on, you know, that file outside of Excel. You just need to know how to, you know, edit it. Use a good editor that allows you really see what's going on. Notepad++ is good. You could also... If you change the language here to XML, yeah, it could look, you know, much neater. So you can really see what's going on. And that's how you can actually play around with the quick access toolbar, um, you know, customize file and, you know, make it your own. There's much more you can do, but I would stop here <laughs> in this video. So if you like what you've seen, you know, click the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel Excel Moment. So for now. I'm out.